Hi everybody, Dan Oman, Nicole Russo at Saratoga as we take a look at Sunday's Spa Baby Race presented by Spendthrift. It's the Grade 3 Adirondack. Three-year-old Philly's going six and a half furlongs. Let's take a look at this field. Spendthrift represented by two of the six runners in this race. Into Mischief is the sire of the number two naughty gal. Just an impressive winner of the second lifetime start. And cross traffic is the sire of the four Sabra Tuff, who is already sixth place. Yeah, and you know, I th I'm expecting a very good summer and fall for cross traffic's two-year-olds for Spendthrift. He was a leading freshman sire a couple of years ago with champion two-year-old Philly Jaywalk in his first crop. And the two-year-olds we're seeing now are the first crop that was conceived after that early success. You know, he got a good quantity of mares, a good quality of mares. And the two-year-olds from this crop are already running. So I'm expecting continued nice things from Spendthrift's cross traffic. Breaking from the rail is Apple Picker, and let's watch Apple Picker's career debut at Belmont going five and a half furlongs because this really showed some brilliant speed. She went right to the front and she kept on going. Now, we don't know what she beat. It was a field full of first time starters. I doubt that there were six other Hall of Famers in there with Apple Picker, but it was still a very promising debut and you got to like that speed, especially since she's breaking from the rail. Yeah, I yeah, think we're I definitely think. expecting her to show the way again here. A front running Belmont winner by four from the second crop of Connect, who had graded winning two year olds Rattle and Roll and Hitting Connect. Dam is a half sister to Grand Adventure, who is a graded stakes winning miler. So there's a lot of precocity and speed for Rudy Rodriguez. Naughty Gal is the two for Mr. Lucas by Spent Griff Stallion into Mischief, a $200,000 weanling, sold for three fifths as a March two year old. Lots of speed, lots of precocity, and this was fully really improved second time out. Big buyer of 75. Yeah, that 75 is the best in the field, and she's the only one in this field to win at six furlongs. They're going six and a half here in the Adirondack. And, you know, she finished fourth in her debut at Churchill behind two next out winners, and she was bothered in that race. And that was a runaway winner of that uh, Churchill maiden over another next stat winner. It looks like she's been facing some nice fillies and losses. Promise of Hope is the number three going out for trainer Tom Amos off of a pace pressing victory at Churchill Downs on July the 1st. And the source was no secret. She was bet to favoritism in a field of seven other first time starters. And it was a really professional, solid performance. I think this filly might have a future. I think so as well. And I think that she's one that you're going to get value on in this race with the presence of, you know, some stake seasoned runners in here by the versatile stallion Ghost Sapper and picks up Jose Ortiz for the second outing. Like what I saw, Nicole, from the four Sabra Tuff and the debutante, I know she didn't get the job done, but for a filly that showed speed in her career debut, she fell far behind early and was not phased in the slightest. She showed the versatility to get up for second. I think she is a professional daughter of Spencer Stallion plus traffic. There's plenty of speed on the bottom of this pedigree. The second dam was a great three stakes stump. Yeah, and you know, I think I, I'm glad that you highlighted how well she closed uh, with showing a different dimension in that race. I think there's plenty of pace here in the Adirondack, and you know, having that dimension could be very valuable to her. She did be a next out winner on debut. She's made three starts already. She's got a nice foundation for Dallas Stewart, who knows how to get a horse on the board at a price in a big race. Although the number five, Janice Joplin, is still a maiden. She has already graded stakes place for trainer Mark Cassie. This is a daughter of California Chrome. Let's watch her third place effort in the Schuylerville opening day at Saratoga. Again, she kind of missed the break a little bit. That's been her sort of bugaboo throughout her two lifetime starts, but she was able to kick on in the stretch. The additional distance should help, and I think she's hoping for a little bit of pace up front. Levian Pratt retains the mount. Yeah, another one hoping for that pace up front, and I think that she's going to get some. As you pointed out, she's still a maiden, but she's turned in two fine efforts while still kind of learning the starting gate game a little bit. I think having that little bit of extra distance should help her. She's the only one in this field to have raced over the Saratoga track previously, which could be to her benefit. Earlier in the meet, the consensus was that the track was a little deep. You wanted a good fitness base going into a race over this main track. Now, I think it is quickening up a little bit as the meet goes on and as it's kind of worked in. But I do think having a race over this track will be to her benefit.
Damaso completes the field. She's a daughter of Outlook. She'll be making her dirt debut. But if you're worried about her handling the surface, that recent bullet workout allays fears. Let's watch the Mike Deer stakes, her second start. This is, of course, up in Woodbine over the Tapita surface. And she was a little bit grumpy behind the gate that day, but she came with a good run to finish third. Uh, I like her outside post position. I think her trainer is very underrated with two-year-olds. Tim Ham, extremely underrated. He's an Ohio-based trainer, but when he brings these two-year-olds to Saratoga, which he's done in past years, uh, you know, he, he doesn't just come to enjoy the spa. He comes to perform. This is a daughter of Outwork, who is a was a good two-year-old in his own right. He's a good two-year-old sire by Uncle Mo. Moving poly track to dirt, I think she'll enjoy that surface. And as always, I'll encourage you to check out the clocker reports produced by his colleague, our colleague Mike and his team right here and into that work of hers. I think this is a live horse. Let's take a look at our top picks for Sunday's Spa Baby Race presented by Spendthrift, the Grade 3 Adirondack. I'm going with the Spendthrift sired Philly naughty gal from D. Wayne Lucas. Showed good speed second time out, earned a gaudy buyer speed figure. And I think she's going to show speed yet again. I like that she's one at six. Yeah, I do like that she's one at six, one of several things to like about this Philly. As I said, several next out winners have come out of both of her races at Churchill Downs. So I do think she is facing and defeating nice horses. I think there's a lot of horses you could use behind Naughty Gal at a price. I'm going to go with Sabra Tuff, who is coincidentally trained by a former Lucas assistant, Dallas Stewart, to close in to some expected pace a little bit and make it a Spendthrift Sire Exacta. Maybe Janis Joplin can also get a piece from just off the pace, but we're rooting for Naughty Gal, and we're rooting for another two-year-old runner by Into Mischief. Good luck.